Well, the Fed cuts rates at its next meeting, it will likely be trying to do a few good things at once, like nudging inflation and overall economic growth higher. But is all that possible with one little rate cut of 25 basis points? Steve Leesman takes a look at what kind of effects a rate cut could have. Steve. Morning, Melissa. We ask a simple question. What's the basis and what's the point? of a 25 basis point rate cut. Can it boost inflation and growth or will the effects be only financial like raising stock prices and lowering bond yields? Well, back in 95 and in 98, look, they got the chart done. They're so good there in the graphics department. Uh, these rate cuts appear to keep stock rallies going or so-called insurance rate cuts. And the recent policy shift by the Fed, if you look all the way to the right part of your screen, looks to have helped to turn around in stocks in the past year. Fed has had a little less success recently moving its key inflation target. Core inflation has remained below target while the Fed maintained an easy policy for most of the past decade. Inflation has eased just a bit since the Fed tightening began. Remember, the Fed was still easy for a lot of the time that it was actually raising interest rates. What about lending and banks? The rise in the funds rate does appear to have crimped bank lending growth somewhat, so we could see some acceleration there. That said, so many different ways for companies to borrow these days. It's unclear how important a metric bank lending even is. In fact, money has remained cheap in public debt markets. So what the Fed is most likely to achieve through a rate cut is a display that it's more serious about hitting its inflation target. By providing the market with the cut that it expects, it will keep financial conditions loose, also edge the U.S. closer to other global rates. But there's skepticism out there that this is going to spur much inflation or boost growth much, Minnesota.